So you're learning how to code, you feel like you're pretty pretty darn good at it, right? And you need to understand how to work and navigate the job market. Because if we look on Reddit, if we look everywhere, everyone's gonna say the exact same thing, and that's the job market sucks. Well, here's the thing, we cracked the code on how to land a job in 2024 at DevSlopes Academy, and we're gonna break down the secret sauce right now. By the way, this is why we're having tons of students who have computer science degrees, who are already really good at programming, come to DevSlopes Academy because they need this tip right here. So, okay, this is kind of the scenario, right? This is what's called the professional gap, right? You're, you're in the job market, you're trying to get a programming job, but you need experience to get the job, but you need the job to get experience. So it's kind of like this paradox, right? It makes no sense. It's honestly very unfair. You're stuck in this like uphill battle, right? You just need to get this boulder over the hill, but it's not gonna happen. You have no idea what to do. You're frustrated, you're angry. Everyone on Reddit is telling you the same thing too, is that this is not gonna work, that's not gonna work, all those different things. So how do you solve this, right? What is the secret sauce? How are you able to get past this hurdle? How are you able to get that boulder up the hill? What is the secret sauce the answer guys is freelancing now before you go off and run away from this video listen to what I'm about to say very 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 closely we have this scenario right it's a job interview scenario person a walks into a job interview with a computer science degree right and maybe some fun little projects that he built in college you know like you have the calculator app the to-do app all these different things you know it shows that you can work with API's things like that cool fun person B walks into the job interview with three to five paid portfolio projects that he's able to put on his portfolio to help stand out in the job search. Who's gonna get the job? Who do you guys think is gonna get the job? The answer is person B. Now why is that? right? Paid experience is what stands you out. So he's going to be able to walk into any job interview, show employers and say, hey, these are projects that I was paid to complete by real clients. And this is going to stand him out from any other resume, any other application out there. Why? Because he's bridging that gap. He's able to have paid experience that he needs for the job. Now, let's talk a little bit more about freelancing, what this entails, right? Because at DevSlips Academy, this is a required part of our curriculum. You have to get three to five paid projects in the academy. That way we can put them on your portfolio to help leverage you into the job. So now we're gonna talk about how this process actually works in a real live example with a student, Sam, who actually landed a freelance project that turned into a $16,000 paid gig. So we're gonna watch about a minute of this video and then we're gonna break down his story and how it actually works. Sam started coding in 2003, but it never really clicked on a professional level. He joined DevSlopes and he was able to get his first paid freelance project building a WordPress for a potential client. DevSlopes showed Sam how to use no code solutions to go out and get paid freelance project. And guess what? From that one WordPress project, Sam was able to land a $16,000 project designing the entire front end for a business and using Bubble.io to build a risk inventory framework. Here's Sam's story. I, I would say I think my investment in DevSlope is already covered from that one project. For for the design, uh, it's uh, around six thousand, and uh, for the bubble, it's. Uh, 10,000. So because you took the initiative to learn how to use this new technology, you yeah. were able to upsell quite a bit on this project. Correct. Because, because I was like really frank with my client. Hey, I have a solution for you because like initially before that, I, uh, before that I also built his website and WordPress platform. So that was a start for the client. So one of Okay, so now let's kind of break down Sam's journey a little bit deeper. So at DevSolves, every student starts at level one, right? The beginning stages. You learn the fundamentals of programming and you start what's called the earn what you learn process. So Sam starts on this process, right? He learns the fundamentals of programming. He works with the freelance mentors to go out and get his first paid project using WordPress, right? A website you use to build websites. He makes a couple hundred bucks doing that. Then when Sam moves on to level two, he's able to really master his programming skills, learn all the aspects about programming that he needs. In order to upsell that project, he pitches the client a full website redesign 
using strictly code. He makes $6,000 doing a full website redesign. Additionally, he also learns Bubble.io, which is another no code solution where he's able to upsell. He made 16,000 plus off of one client. Now here's the cool thing, right? When Sam gets to level three, the in game, the interview, the job process, getting you ready for your full time job at DevSolps Academy, he's going to be able to put that $16,000 project on his portfolio. That way when he walks into a job interview, he's able to say, hey, I had a client who paid me $16,000 to work with him. This is gonna stand out from any other application, any other applicant, any other resume, anything along those lines. Why? Because he's bridging that gap. Employers wanna see real world experience and Sam has that. And this is how we're landing our students' jobs at DevSolps Academy. This is the goal, this is the approach we're taking. Another student, Fadi, for example, about six weeks ago, he joined DevSolps Academy. About four weeks into the program, he lands his first freelance project paying 500 bucks. At DevSolps, that's why we have our Earn While You Learn curriculum. It's to help make money while you're going through the program, but it's a lot deeper than that. We need those projects to put on your portfolio because we're focused on getting you the job. So if you wanna crack the code, if you wanna be able to go out and land that paid job, you need to be putting freelance projects on your portfolio to help stand you out. And if you guys need help doing that and want to join DevSolps Academy to where we help help you go out and get those paid projects, everything along those lines, click the link down below to join DevSolps Academy and apply for the program. Other than that guys, freelancing is the way to go. This is gonna stand you out from any other job application. This is gonna stand you out from any other applicant that applies for the job. Having real world experience is all that matters. It's what employers want. And guys, it's how we crack the code in this 2024 job market. Leave comments down below. I wanna know what you guys think about this and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much guys for watching. See you guys soon.